In this repair video, we're going to be working on an iPod 4 Touch that was mailed in from Ben, Alabama. And Ben mailed in the iPod so we can fix the charging port and recover his data. Customer is paying $165 for the job. It's going to cost them almost twice as much as what it would cost to buy a used one. But it's a lot of work and customer needs his data. So he's going to get both his data and a working iPod. So let's see how we go about changing the charging port on the iPod touch four we have two things that we need to desolder we have a connector a flex cable that is soldered onto the top left of the board right here and we have the battery which is soldered onto the bottom of the board right here so let's apply some heat and remove those flex cables and that is the reason it costs a lot of money to work on this ipod the charging port is going to be even more difficult to deal with so opening the phone and taking out the board is one thing and soldering the charging port connector is a whole different thing we have to do both it's a tedious process it takes time Now we're going to remove the board. شفت ترانس بلا بالخالة إذا شغال؟ نوتش فيكس؟ وي دو يس 229 دولارز يب نو اتس نوت غانا بي اتس اونلي واتر بروف وين ات كومز اوت اوف ذا فاكتوري سو اتس نوت غانا بي واتر بروف افتر وي تشينج ات all right, take care, Molly. Let's start by applying flux. And we have to desolder those pins in order to remove the connector. We have to do the same thing on this one here, the lag, and this one here. Now we're going to use a little bit of hot air to remove this connector and it should come right off. 
So let's change the position of this board. I'm gonna put this board holder over it. And the connector is right there. It's very difficult to put this board on the board holder because hey, look at this this is one end of the board and this is one tiny narrow part of the board and it's connecting with this big part of the board so the only way to hold it with the board holder is to just press on this tiny narrow area of the board we don't want to put a lot of pressure because we do not want to break that narrow piece يلا This machine here came in for heating problems uh, the computer shuts off every few minutes and as you can see the CPU is stuck to the heatsink and it's stuck like a rock and we just have to find a way to go under oh here got it got it that's it. So the connector is going to go from the bottom. Like so. Just like so. And you can see all the pins went inside the holes. Very good.
let's solder the other side here so we're gonna be using a new tip we got about three weeks ago This one right here. Let's just add more flux. And let's see how that tip is gonna do in this narrow area. Now we can do drag soldering, but this method is better because we have a very narrow area and it's very easy to make a bridge between two pins. So I'm trying to avoid having to do more work than needed. And with a tip like this, it's possible. Let me flip it the other way, maybe it's easier to work with. You know, we did some bridges at the beginning, we'll take care of them later. But let's fix this here. So we're gonna get a slightly bigger tip and we're gonna get rid of those bridges here. Just like that. Now we can drag solder. And the job is done. Very nice. We're gonna clean and we're gonna take a closer look at those pins, make sure nothing is touching or we do not have any bridges. Let's inspect. Very nice. Very nice. I put the motherboard back inside. We have to solder the two cables that we desoldered, the battery and the other one on top. So the screen connects from back of the board. The front cam connects from back of the board. These are already there and connected. This is the Wi-Fi here, we'll do it last. We also have to plug the screen flex cable from the front here. So where the screen has two cables, one from the back and one from the front. So let's go ahead and do the soldering. And that's it.
and we have to solder the one on the bottom, the battery flex cable. Just have to connect the screen here from the front. Let's go ahead and test. And plug this one here. And moment of truth. Battery sign is right here. Okay. It's currently being charged at 0 0.29. Great. Let's keep it here for a while. I'm going to take care of the customer and I'll be back. Wayne Wahal. Telephone, Okay. Okay. It's on. So it's charged about uh, 20%. I do not see the percentage, but based on the image, the iPod is working. I still have to attach the Wi-Fi antenna here, the headphone port, close it, seal it, invoice the customer, ship it back, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I will do something else in the next video.